What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So if you're clicking on this video, you're probably interested in hearing about what the heck is a Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth. You've seen it on the forums, you've seen it listed for sale and you really don't know what it is. And you're trying to figure out what the differences are for a Tesla Model 3 Performance and a Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth. And there's probably a lot of used Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth that are coming onto the market and you're trying to figure out if it's a good deal or not. So in this video, I actually own a Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth. I bought it in 2019, and we're actually gonna go over all the differences between those two vehicles and why I went with a Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth instead of a normal Tesla Model 3 Performance. So welcome back to the channel, and let's get into the video. Thanks for watching another video. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I have a Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth, and I make videos about my experience. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So this is my 2019 Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth. How you can tell that it's a Stealth is, is that it has the 18 inch hubcap rims with the rims underneath it, instead of the 19 or even the 20 inch rims. But really how you can tell is if the dual motor badge right here on the back side has a red line underneath it, then that means it's still a performance and it's just a Stealth. The one thing to note though is of course people can put on the red badging on the back themselves. So if you go into the car, you can actually go to the software settings and you can see on digitally if there's the dual motor badge as well. And another thing is if you want to triple confirm, you could go to settings and then driving modes and then go down and see if there actually is a track mode or not. And if you can go into it and enable some of the settings. Now in terms of the visual differences, there are a handful of things and we'll go from the biggest difference down to the smallest difference. The biggest thing is the rims. Performance model Model 3 has the 20 inch rims and now even the gray or the urbine turbine rims. On top of that, they also have red calipers, red brake calipers instead of the gray ones. Another difference is, of course, the Model 3 Performance comes with a carbon fiber spoiler, but I actually got one OEM and got it installed later, so mine actually has one as well. But stock, the Model 3 Performance Stealth does not come with a carbon fiber spoiler. On top of that, the Model 3 Performance is actually 10 millimeters lower than the Stealth, so you might be able to see that visually, but you might not necessarily see that as well. And the last thing that the Performance has that the Stealth doesn't is aluminum pedals for acceleration and braking, which I think is a super small modification that if you really want that, you can get them on Amazon for like 10 or 20, even $30. Of course, the Model 3 Performance Stealth has the same performance, zero to 60 in like three seconds or 3.2 seconds than the normal performance. It just doesn't have some of those visual things that the normal performance has. So now the question is, is it worth it? Of course, it depends on how much you're gonna use your Tesla Model 3. If you're daily driving your Tesla Model three some of the options like the 20 inch rims the lower suspension might not be as comfortable for you depending on how you like your car to be in terms of comfiness i personally knew i was going to be driving my tesla model 3 a lot i've driven 20 20 over 20,000 miles in over a little bit over a year so i wanted the smaller rims from and higher suspension for just that little bit more comfortability in the los angeles roads i also knew that some of the other goodies that it came with i could get later at a cheaper price then at that point it was a six thousand dollars higher price just for a real performance Model 3. So if you can get a Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth at a slightly cheaper price than a Model 3 Performance, it might be worth it, depending on the specs. I actually think my Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth is probably one of the best cars I've ever had for daily driving just because it checks off a lot of boxes for daily driving use. So yeah, I hope this answered your question on what is a Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth. Let me know if you have any other questions down below or if you think getting a Stealth is a good deal or not. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.